Good day, YouTubers. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from all around the world. <clears throat> the very top of the main mast. Last three dead eyes here. So, I'm going to fish this through and sort of pre-tie a granny knot that I can pull tight from the back of that opening there. And get everything ready. And <clears throat> do the one on the right first and work myself to the left so the uh, order of them lays better when you try it that way so now we find our template that's the wrong one where is my template here it is get this in here so now we're on the port side. We got the rat lines done. On the bottom, main mast and foremast. So now I got the template in there and that's hanging. Sort of pre-adjust that knot and then pull pull that tight up top and put a counterweight on it. A stick falling on my chicken coop. Counterweight and some super glue on that knot. <clears throat> I don't know if my glue hole doesn't look like it's open. I gotta find a. There we go. I just used up one of these tubes doing all them rat lines so now I'm on my second tube I see a little extra glue in there I'm clean that out So the other two should go up and lay to the left of that to keep them even. So now with that tied, we take our template out. We got this long tail on here that we made when we laced up that choker on the dead eye. And these have a tendency to turn so we just got to keep the orientation correct until we get all three holes filled up with the lacing So I didn't get a lot done today on the ship this week because we had to put a new roof on the house. And uh, my house is a little complicated compared to a normal house because I have 24 solar panels up there. I had to get removed. 
And then to make it even worse, there's two layers of old shingles up there. They had to get pulled off. So now I got all three holes filled. This bottom dead eye has a tendency to turn on me. So before I pull the lacing tight, I'll get a knot started. And then I've been using a little pair of pliers that I misplaced. Where did I put those? Here they are. So this tail here that's coming out of the last hole in the bottom dead eye. I want to grab that and then get the slack out of the lacing. And then I can sort of pinch it and then pull this knot tight. And then we put a little glue on that and it let it enough to go down in the hole that that rope is coming through. So when that dries, it'll hold this dead eye straight. We did get one egg this morning, and it's a big old giant one. I bet you it's got two yolks in it. I'll make sure that stays like that. Let that dry before I cut that tail off. Go ahead and get another one. I pre-made all the ones I need for the top. The foremast and the mainmast. We just gotta get them in there and string them up. It's a little granny knot on this side and then push the tail through so when I pull it tight I'm pulling it tight from the back side get it ready for the template Get that template in the bottom one. And you can see how the rope is. From when we did the choker, we left a long piece of rope from the first knot. We feed that through the back of the dead eye on one side or the other. And then when we go to lace this, we're going to have that coming out the front. We put our choker or our template in the. Two bottom holes. And then looking at that knot, I'm seeing where that knot is compared to the other one we just tied, and then pull it tight and that's why I do it in the back because if you pull it in the front then the knots up here and you can't 
bring your next one up because the knot's in the way. So I try to make the knot back here. And I pull it tight, I can bring it around to cinch it up. A little glue on that knot and the counterweight. So it can't come loose while we're pulling on the dead eye. Now we can take the template out. Now it's, rope is coming out the left side of the dead eye. So we want to go in the left side in the front. And we got to set this up in the tweezers to push it through the back middle hole. This one's going to be close on the length. <clears throat> so it looks like something's wrong because this bottom dead eye turned. And that's normal. You just got to keep that in mind when you're lacing. You don't want them to get all twisted. If it does turn, make sure you turn it back. So now we just fish it through the last hole here on the right. And get ready to do a, lo a loop around it so we can tie a knot. Yep, there's a simple granny knot. But before we pull that tight, we gotta make sure we got the slack out of this. These tweezers look good for grabbing rope, but they don't grip it enough to pull slack like I want so I use the pliers and everything turned around to the wrong side so use them pliers and pull that slack out and grab it from the back so it can't come loose and then pull this grain out tight. And it's still wanting to turn on me, but this glue, once it dries, glue for the knot and for the rope going through the hole in the crow's nest. Help hold it straight. So I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is one we got made up for. The forward mast. And like we did on the bottom crow's nest, we used the doll of wood and <clears throat> we tie this in there so that we've got a way for the sailors to get from the normal shroud rat line climbing rope up to the crow's nest with these new ones that we just installed for the bottom dead eyes here so this one will go on to the forward mast the one we haven't done yet on the very top but that's a little piece of brass rod with a couple granny knots one on each side pulled tight and then some super glue on there so that I can tie this around and then lace the tail 
of one of these, lace it through, wrap it, lace it through, wrap it, lace it through, wrap it on all four of the shrouds. So it keeps them separated and it keeps a good solid uh, lock on the shroud so this can't move up and down once we start putting pressure on it tying these newer dead eyes on the top here and lacing it and pulling the lacing tight you don't want this thing to move down here because that's what's holding everything so that's what we're going to use on the front the forward mast and that's what we've done here on this main mast I try to make all that stuff up ahead of time and leave it ready so all we got to do is pick it up and install it and lace it up tie knots so I think that's enough glue let me add a little more down here make sure that stays like that you can see how that one's turning to the right a little bit and turning in. Once we get the third one done, put a little dab of super glue on the edge there so they'll kiss each other and then they'll stay straight. But for now, we got to worry about the bottom keeping it straight. So, one more of these. So the roof past inspection, they got the old stuff off and the new stuff on. And got inspection, rough inspection, and the final. But now we got to have the solar company come back and uh, reinstall the solar panels. I'm making sure this rope is wrapped around one of these beams here. We've got a little fly visiting us this morning here. Because there's already glue up there, you got to be careful with this next knot before you get it ready to lace up. <clears throat> now we have our template again. So some of you may know that I'm a retired master electrician, and why are you having a solar company come do your? Well, number one, I don't warranty works because. I'm not a roofer, so you gotta have the roofing company warranty it. Number two, solar is a whole different license in Florida. And you can't just go putting solar on yourself because you're a master electrician. You gotta take classes and everything and a test to be certified with the state of Florida for doing solar work, so. I am not certified to do solar. So now I'm really cranking on that top knot there, making sure that this is tight. And we got that tight. A little glue on that knot. And a counterweight. And after everything dries, we cut cut those tails off the counterweights on. And these three tails down here. So, take our template out. Grab our last lacing tail. Coming out of the right, so we got to go in the right. Sometimes it's a little awkward working with this K 
camera right between me and the ship. These dead eyes aren't perfectly lined up with that knot, but they'll work. Oops, now that's all wrapped around in the wrong way. It's easy to mess it up. You gotta watch it. I'm gonna keep dropping it with some tweezers. So that is the front, but I don't want to go in. From this side, I gotta come in from the back. So the neighbor's dog barking there, his name, his name is Snoop Dog. Of course the neighbors are nice folks, but Snoop Dog barks a lot when he's not happy. Okay, they look pretty even as far as the height across there so we're gonna fish this through and get ready to and because it's even and the ropes aren't slack in the lacing I'm gonna go ahead and pull that tight put the glue to it and we'll let all three of those dry before we mess with these up here. We want that to stay that way until it gets good and dry. Okay. So now we'll uh, do the same thing over here with the three dead eyes and then we'll wrap these babies here and get the mizzen mast done on the main bottom rat lines we got the other side done but we don't have this side done so Okay, so we got that main mast middle section glued up. We pulled the board out of this one we just did. Use the board up there. I gotta wait for those to dry a little more before I cut them out. And then we'll use that board one more time to do these here. And then we got to cut the board so it'll fit 
up here and up here is really short I think that one and this one will be close to the same height and that one will be a little taller so we'll cut the board to fit all the way down to the bottom of the crow's nest that way we get up here we should be high enough you can see that forward mast has got the shortest so we'll cut it again if we have to for the forward mast but we'll move it over here and do these next when that dries we got the last dead eyes tied on that anchor there tied on and glued and all laced up so We'll let that dry before we mess with it anymore. But uh, we're getting near the top. What else? Oh, this week, yeah, we did the, the rough job. If I can raise you up enough. A brand new roof on there and you can see all the solar panels there in the back porch all stacked up so we'll have to get those put back on I think that'll be next week next Friday and the garden's doing pretty good. We're picking tomatoes every day. We harvested a bunch more onions, some cabbage, and we just trimmed off the rosemary for the chickens, so I'm gonna take that back there to them. Celery's starting to get some stalks on it. Foss is out here checking the garden today. Summertime is here. There's two taking a dirt bath. Probably just sleeping. No, they're taking dirt by. I see them flicking that dirt up on themselves. I buy bags of uh, play sand to put in there and then mix it with some ashes of burning wood. And that helps them keep their mites and stuff down. There's the rest of them. Let's see. Yeah, my wife just put a bunch of mint and some roses, cut rose petals, in their nest. They like those. 
They'll eat some of them and then nest on it and make eggs. So there's the other four. neighbor dog. So you can see this 55 gallon drum. We can fill it up with water here and then that feeds out. There's a couple scuppers in the coop and then there's some over there and we can drain it out and clean it. But whenever I fill that up, we'll put some uh, apple cider vinegar in the 55 gallon drum with the water and that helps keep the algae and stuff from growing and it's good for the chickens and we put this tarp on it also to keep the sun from promoting algae growth you cover it up it helps stop the algae so we're going to put this top bin in the baskets that are hanging inside the coop and that'll help with the aroma in there and then the bottom bin will go in the runs and they'll eat that those flowers and leaves and stuff they'll eat it so we got some good progress this week thanks for watching